annual traditions making a comeback after decades. The Lantern Walk was once a part of Africatown's history, and as WKRG News 5's Tiffany Gray shows us, locals want to reestablish this event to educate the next generation. The last walk was held in Africatown over 50 years ago. That was until Saturday when organizers and dozens of people reenacted the Lantern Walk. We wanted to bring it back as a part of the rituals of this community by which we share with people how the community came together to produce outstanding students and citizens uh, for the country. The walk began at the Mobile County Training School and ended at the Africatown Cemetery. A ritual held at the last destination of the walk gave honor to the ancestors of Africatown. There are so many of our rituals that have been erased in the African American community that really brought us together as a community in terms of the church, the community, and the school. And we just recognize that we've got to begin to reestablish those rituals so that our ancestors and descendants understand how connected we are. Isaiah Pinckney attended the last Lantern Walk in 1952. He says he's just happy to be able to participate once again. It's great just to be alive and to experience both activities. Initially, this was a culminating activity for commencement week graduation at Mobile County Training School. And the idea was to dispel the darkness of ignorance. People coming from across the country to pay their respects as the people of Africatown continue to do their part to reestablish this ritual in this community. Well, my wife and I flew down from Seattle, Washington. Because we knew that there was going to be a ceremony returning to our roots. So it's really commemorating those ancestors that had been enslaved. And now it's time to raise their voices and shine a light on a dark part of American history. In Africatown, Tiffany Gray, WKRG News 5.